This one was coal oil. Coal oil point. Coal oil point. They put an SMCA there, a coal oil point. That'd be some limited fishing. I don't recall. Was it commercial? Limited, limited uh, commercial in there? You could do, no. Uh, within limited 30, sport fishing. Uh, within, it's water shallower than 30 meters, you couldn't do anything. Uh, the outside uh, was open to pelagics and, right. and related. You could salmon fish, you could white sea bass, thresher so shark. Then, you couldn't rock fish in it. Right. And then they broke they broke campus point here. Okay, they broke no, campus. No, no, no. That's, that's, that's coal oil, I'm sorry. This was refugio up here. Correct. Oh, that's refugio SMCA. Which okay. is just a little coastal right. tidewater yeah, thing in exactly. front of refugio park. Right. And it's, I mean, it's already protected, is what it exactly. is. Exactly, it's already got a state. So we just, got a state we just park there, they did the same thing we did. It, we it just honored it. Yeah, they just took it and they did the same thing. They just changed the regulation on it to the one that they wanted. They wanted to see the ones on the outside go to blue, so the DFG has easy enforcement. Make one set of rules for all of them. But you already okay, weren't so, allowed to take welts in there. Right, yeah, so okay, so my bad. So there's Campus Point, that's what he's talking about. The insurance right. of SMR. The outer was going to allow salmon and pelagic fishing for the few, you know, if the guys get white sea bass or whatever, get lucky out there, get salmon when they're traversing through, guys be able to fish. And all this in red and blue right out here already exists. This is the federal closure. Okay, and they got some whomping big ones out there. Well, that's the Sims, the Channel Islands yeah, closure. Yeah, exactly. That went in. And uh, so this is uh, Big Sycamore Canyon right up here and Magoo. And then they put an SMR down on the bottom side of, uh, well actually this one's Big Sycamore Canyon right, right here. And then they went up into Magoo with an SMCA, State Marine Conservation Act. This would allow either pelagic fishing or commercial bait fishing or some iteration of both. The red area would allow nothing. Okay, Palos Verdes, they in the same area, they had a guy looking at our map stealing stuff. That's cool, I like these guys. So the inside of theirs, they, they had an SMR, SMCA, they just changed the direction of it, that's all. So they made theirs all along shore and out to a certain level was totally closed all fishing. And in the outer side they had pelagic and bait fishing allowed. And then same things, they, they left this one as a state marine park, but then again, here you go, Bolsa Chica, Newport Harbor. Okay, they changed their iteration here. They did a closure along the shoreline. It's a little bit wider than ours was. And then they had a bigger SMC area out here because they know that a lot of people are traversing up and down fishing. And they figured if we're gonna lose something here, Maybe we can still get the guys some bonita fishing, barracuda fishing, and thresher oh, sharks. Big, and big uh, commercial swordfish area, yeah. big thresher shark oh, area. Yeah. yeah, so they, they, you know, this is a really big, it is a big thresher area, and then there are some mobile species when they're up and cruising through you. You get some decent over the water Sorry, fishing guys. of yellowtail in there from time to time. You get some really good barracuda and bonita fishing through there. Yeah. So their iterations like that. And you get down here, and the same thing they had uh, San Alejo and they had a small one there, and then their Del Mar SM, SMR, SMCA, they split it again. It's just about the same as our location, the inshore. Okay, again, they close off the inshore completely. The offshore area, pelagic, so that they allow the thresher shark fishing, which is, anybody who's fished there knows that you get a lot of thresher shark fishing through there. And you do get some coastal yellowtail and stuff, and coastal bonita fishing. So they split that there. They did the same thing with La Jolla. They left the SMCA. Did you guys expand it at all? Did you leave La Jolla? Did you leave it the no, same No, we left it as was. Left it as was. Okay, yeah. so they left, they left La Jolla as was. That's an already existing one. Right, and then they left uh, Mary J or Marge T. That's uh, Point Loma. Point Loma. Yeah, and that's a tidal one that right. goes all the exactly. way around Point same, Loma. Same thing. Which is kind and, of military, too. Right. And this was their Smyrma. Okay, now they have uh, SMCA over Farnsworth, which allowed pelagic fishing. Yeah. And, and uh, you, uh, the rules on uh, Farnsworth, you could not anchor. Right. To protect that purple hydrocoral. To protect that purple coral, man. Uh, yeah, there was no, uh, but you know, all, all the pelagics you right. fish. And then in this whole green area of the sperma that they had, they were going to allow uh, all the other related levels of take, the, the commercial urchin fishing and stuff could still have gone on in there. The commercial shrimpers could work on the outside waters and stuff where they have access to that. But the catch, the catch in here was calico bass, and she kind of had that 17-inch upper upper size limit. So the DFG just basically said it doesn't fit their guideline in the world for what they're looking for. So the DFG told them to revise that. So you'll see in the next iteration they'll have that revised. Because well, we had a uh, catch and release area to the inside of uh, to the inside of right Orange here, right, right here. 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 Right here.